Thank you for joining this episode of Vets Vault. Today's topic is PPP Scam Demic, a Black history economics lesson your parents should have shared. Since our reported arrival in the U.S. in 1619, Blacks have faced economic hardship, been exploited, and victims of biases and discrimination from shadow slavery to sharecropping and Jim Crow, redlining, and present-day tactics to exclude and isolate Blacks economically by limiting access to credit and capital to simply starting and maintaining our businesses. And then came Corona. If you are one of the lucky businesses to receive a Paycheck Protection Program loan, aka PPP, as provided under the CARES Act, an acronym for Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security, the PPP loans do not have to be repaid if the money is used for payroll, rent, or mortgage expenses, and is a lifeline for struggling businesses. Kudos to you. Too many small businesses weren't as fortunate. On May 27, 2020, the House passed the Paycheck Protection Program Flexibility Act by 417 to 1 in an attempt to ease restrictions on small businesses that sought loan forgivenesses under the PPP program authorized by the CARES Act. Research from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York shows nationwide during the early escalation of the coronavirus, 17% of white-owned businesses shut down between February and April. During that same time period, 32% of Latin businesses and 41% of black-owned companies closed. Looking ahead, as many as 45% of minority-owned firms say they expect to shut down by the end of the year because of COVID-19. Easing of restrictions did not include making allowances to shop for toys and trinkets, including purchasing a Rolex presidential watch, Dior, Gucci, diamonds, custom-made jewelry, a Ferrari, a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, S65 AMG, and a Land Rover Range Rover. Lease of a Rolls-Royce Wraith or paying past due child support. The Department of Justice, DLJ, says it uncovered widespread fraud in the PPP with 57 people, including an NFL player, reality TV star, and an R&B hip-hop star, who have all been charged with so far with trying to steal a total of $175 million in coronavirus relief loans for small businesses. The fraud, scam, and schemes range from individuals allegedly receiving money on behalf of fake companies to legitimate, legitimate business owners accused of spending funds on luxury items for themselves rather than paying employees and even suburban homeowners allegedly pretending to be farmers. According to the Alphabet People, the U.S. DOJ, on Wednesday, May 13, 2020, reality TV personality Maurice Spain, who stars in Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, was arrested on federal bank fraud charges arising from a PPP loan that he obtained in the name of Flame Trucking. On Wednesday, June 24, 2020, Fain was indicted by a, ju- a federal grand jury. He is charged with bank fraud, making a false statement to a federally insured financial institution, and money laundering, all in connection with the PPP loan. Additionally, he is charged with wire fraud in connection with the Ponzi scheme. Former New York Jets player Joshua Bellamy, who was released by the New York Jets, ha- Jets has been charged with fraudulently obtaining a $1.2 million loan from the PPP for his drip entertainment company and spending the proceeds on luxury goods and at a casino in Hollywood, Florida. Miami-based R&B and hip-hop star Diamond Blue Smith from the group Pretty Ricky is accused by federal agents of obtaining a loan in excess of $426,000 in PPP loans for his company, ThrowbackJersey.com, LLC. Federal agents reported that Diamond used counterfeit documents to secure the loan and used the money received to buy a $96,000 Ferrari and other luxury items. According to agents, when the scheme was discovered, he was seeking another loan in the amount of $708,065 for his other company, Blue Star Records, LLC, again using forged documents. 76% of certified fraud examiners expect a rise in loan fraud over the next year, according to an ACFE survey. Please note, 
A federal criminal complaint is merely, merely an ex- accusation. A defendant is presumed innocent until proven guilty by a reasonable doubt in a court of law. I repeat, these are all criminal complaints, and a federal criminal complaint is merely an accusation. A defendant is presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. John Warren, general counsel for the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, says, Unfortunately, the rapid injection of trillions of dollars in PPP loans into the economy has created a very high risk for fraud at a time when many organizations and their employees are already operating under the kind of intense financial pressure that often leads to fraud and embezzlement. 